few today are primarily around what we're doing in terms of transforming assessment, um, especially in the external assessment area. Um, I'm not going to discuss um, the veracity or otherwise of, of examinations. That's a different debate. Um, NZQA is of the view that uh, exams will be with us for a while um, and will be part of the NCEA landscape for some time. Uh, what I am going to talk to you about is um, the transformation that we are starting to take exams from uh, paper-based to digital uh, to, to digital examination. So we're aiming to also transform assessment itself, external assessment, so it becomes closer to learning, part of the learning, and and learning. And uh, that's not difficult with an internal assessment, but raises a whole heap of issues when you start talking about external assessment primarily. How the government has made a significant investment with programs such as the ultra fast broadband rollout the STUP program and other initiatives to support students and teachers. And our young people need to be digitally competent so that they can work and, the, work and live and play in the world that they're going to inherit. So we've got two people here who are moving forward, who, want, who understand about, the stu about students and young people and how they're moving forward into their lives and how we, can, we, we need to look at how we can best support them. It's a typical classroom today. And, and some of you will be teaching and, and, and working in these in these modern learning spaces. And the pedagogy that you're, you're putting in place is a digitally enabled pedagogy. And so, you know, technology is acting. It's not the be-all, but it's the catalyst for the introduction of these new technologies of different learning spaces. Just click now. World Economic Forum came up with this list of 21st century skills. Now, I'm not going to go through them all individually. Um, and I know Core Education is working with Michael Fullen. I'm going to quote Michael Fullen in a few minutes um, around some of these sorts of things. Uh, I was, a couple of years ago, I was, um, years ago, I was at a conference and an Australian presenter facetiously talked about the 21st century skills being 20th century skills and once were 19th century skills. And maybe he had a point that we, we're not really dealing with them, but that these competencies or key competencies or 21st century skills, call them what you want, are in the front half of the curriculum and we need to we need to look at them. Now at the moment we are a little bit hamstrung by the um, achievement standard because they don't explicitly assess 21st century skills and maybe some of these are things that we don't assess but if they're important we have to look at them and we have to involve them in our education somewhere. So we are looking at, 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 at 21st century skills and how we can include them in some way in our assessment. Could you click, please? Michael Fullen was at the uh, ULEARN conference last week, and I've done um, some readings of Michael Fullen. He's been to New Zealand a number of times. And you've got a, a link to his um, a rich scene uh, down below, which is where this quote is. What Michael Fullen is talking about in terms of his, 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 um, uh, the, the new pedagogies is the whole notion of students not just creating new knowledge, but making sense of it in their world. And that's really, really important. We're talking about authenticity of learning. We're talking about authenticity of, of problem solving. We're talking about real world problem solving. Um, and these notions have become real in the classroom. Would you click, please? So something has to change. Now, all of that the stuff I've talked about is um, all the background underpinning what is happening in, in, in schools, not just in New Zealand, but all over the world. There's a whole innovation disruption in terms of the, um, the, the, the changes, of the uh, implementation of technology in the classroom and, and, and involving students' um, learning uh, using technology as a catalyst. So at NZQA, we have to um, change our assessment because our assessment has to reflect what is happening in the classroom. And I know that in New Zealand we have a, a bit of an assessment-driven um, system uh, and, and culture. And I, as an educationalist, am a little bit disturbed by that. So one of the things I hope to achieve with this process is to bring the pendulum back a little bit and, and allow a little bit more focus on the student rather than the assessment. Either way, we are very, very aware that the sector is changing and our external assessment as I said, needs to be part of that change and part of the journey. 
traffic, please. Well, what are we doing to, to transform? And it's a transformation. Some people talk about it as a transition, and maybe that's part of it. But ultimately, we want to transform um, the nature of external assessment. Let me give you an example of, of the sorts of things that we may do. And next year, we are looking at trialling uh, a Level 1 art history standard. There's only one external standard at Level 1. It's only done by less than 10 schools in New Zealand. The, the standard is around um, understanding the formal elements of artworks uh, and using art terminology. Now, imagine if the students in an exam uh, went in and we told them that um, what they had to do was create an exhibition of four artworks that reflected a theme, and the theme might be uh, controversial public art. And we allowed them full access to the internet to do it. The idea being that they accessed the internet, found four pieces of, of art that are reflective of, of the theme, downloaded them, dropped them into their exam, and then the student had to write a cur curator piece linking all four, linking the formal elements. Now, what we, what we start to, to, to look at there is not just um, a straight recall of knowledge examination, but the students are applying critical thinking and the students are applying creative new, uh, creating new knowledge. And to go back to Michael Fullan's concepts, they're making sense of it in the new world. So those are some of the transformations that we really want to get to. But we're conscious that the sector um, is quite diverse. There are 491 secondary schools.